Nickel, nickel, nine. You. Yeah. Five, nine, J, let's go. Uh. Yeah. For all my haters out there. Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day. Feeling blessed, and like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. So with that being said, on to a new video. This one's going to be a tragic one. It's a sad one. It's a bad case. The overall turnaround of what this is going to be, what the outcome is going to be. It's going to be hard to admit, hard to talk about. But obviously, one of my subscribers from the city of Madeira asked me to do it. So I'm going to do it. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, always leave a comment, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, check the links in the description for the Apple and Spotify music links to direct you to all my music catalog. All I ever ask is you guys stream my music and just watch the video, that's it man, thank you guys for you guys' support, I highly appreciate it. But, on a serious note, an incident occurred in Madera, California, and trust me, I used to record with an artist out there named Drewski98. And uh, I've been out there a few times. I have a couple of homies from Madera. You know, everybody's bumped Toxtero from Madera. You know, I'm familiar with the city. It's in, it's in Northern California, the 209 area. And uh, two kids, one of them was a 16-year-old, lost his life behind gang antics. The suspect, Anthony, um, I can't even pronounce his name, Salvatoria, I think something like that. Well, him and his friend, and based on the fact that the kid uh, is 16 years old, I really can't, I don't really want to say his name, but I know his name is Isaiah. Don't know how to pronounce the last name. We're walking down an alley on 6th Street between A and B Street. They were there to confront another gang and dispute over some typical gang issue, which was not stated during the press conference and all social media that I've been looking at it and looking through. But I believe it was the same Gang, there was no clear indication by the press and by the officers that these were rival gang members going at it. They said they were going down the alley to meet up with a couple of known gang members from the, that they knew of. They were going to settle like an inside gang dispute. Well, obviously, the, the conversation and the argument, it, it went a different direction and guns were drawn. And in doing so, the suspect, Anthony, decided to draw down in a go after the individuals he was arguing with, whoever he was disputing with. And um, somehow on the line of fire, his best friend, 16-year-old Isaiah, got hit in the process. The other ones didn't, but Isaiah did, and he lost his life. And now he just got arrested. He was, uh, he, they provided footage of his arrest, and he was, he was already packed up, ready to go, ready to leave, ready to flee. Obviously, he didn't want to get charged for this kind of crime against his friend. But it happened. Now, obviously, uh, uh, there's going to be a couple of topics that I'm going to discuss regarding this matter. For one, my message to the youth is look at how easy that was. A friend backing up another friend. Uh, regardless if it was over a gang dispute, an internal gang dispute, or rivals. You know, this kid lost his life at the hands of his own friend. Not a rival gang member, but somebody either from his hood or somebody he grew up with from his childhood. That's how easy it is out here on these streets to lose your life. You never know how everything, how things are gonna transpire. All that, you know, planning things out, being premeditated, thinking you have it all under control, thinking that you're gonna go out there and be aggressive and approach the situation and that you're gonna win. Sometimes you're not always gonna walk out them situations with a win. And this kid wasn't able to walk out the situation with his life. To be able to take another breath of fresh air. To go back to his mom. Who's on YouTube right now watching his videos. You know it's a sad case. It's a sad scenario that. Imagine it was like for Anthony. Yeah. We can't credit him. And we honestly can't be sympathetic for him. Because he was out there on the streets with a weapon. Confronting other gang members. But he's got to live with that every day in that cell. More likely he'll get charged with involuntary manslaughter. Who knows. But he's got to live in that cell every day that not knowing that it's a different thing. Like when you take out an enemy, you don't really live with that kind of uh, burden in your shoulders. Some people do. Some people can't get over that nightmare.
But some people can go to bed and, and not lose a bit of sleep. Wake up the next day and just proceed with life like, oh well, another one bites the dust. But this kid has to live with the fact that his childhood friend died at the hands of his own, at, at, of his own, at his own expense. Now that's going to be tormenting, that's going to be haunting, that's, I think that's going to hurt more than that sentence that he receives. And that's why I've been telling these youngsters time and time again throughout my videos. You never know how this is all going to turn out. But it's obvious, death and prison are, are pretty much guaranteed at this point. And as I was reading through the comments, there was quite a few comments and it just, it just showed the, the, childish, the childishness and the, 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 the ignorance of, of, of these young kids out here. A bunch of them. Ah, a buster took out another buster lane. That's the one I read. This is how these youngsters are thinking, still. Not understanding that the older that they get and they continue this lifestyle and they go into prison. Oh, that mentality is going to change. That mentality is going to be faded real quick. Them big homies are going to check that mentality quick. They're going to check that mouth. They're going to check that program. Because you ain't going to be conducting yourself in the same fashion if you go to prison. These big homies that still have control of them, uh, these prisons and these streets have a lot more say-so than what you have on social media. And the kid, the victim's mother is in the comment section and she has to read this. Another young kid calling her young son a lame and a buster. Which goes back to my uh, one of the comments that I just read just the other day like a day or two ago. One of the dudes was like, hey bro, you're making these videos just because you're mad that you didn't make the cut. That's why, you're, that's why you're talking down on all these organizations. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And I was like, you know, I weed, out the, I weed out the bad comments. I read all the comments just based on I engage with my audience. You guys provide me with videos to do. And trust me, I tend to ignore a lot of the, the haterism and the negative aspects. But when this fool said I was mad I didn't make the cut, it's not the fact that I'm mad that I didn't make the cut. See, I'm not mad that I didn't make the cut. I'm mad at the fact that I threw my whole life away believing in something that really isn't what it is. I'm mad at the fact that these big homies that you still want to glorify, that you still want these youngsters to listen to, their biggest achievement is just how much money they have on their books. How much they can go to commissary. Because one squad will throw their life away for a Mexican mafia member, there's going to be another squad to replace it. You think these uh, big homies really keep track of all the individuals who sacrificed for them? You think these NF members are in the feds with a list full of homies that lost their lives in the streets because they gave them this entitlement of being a Norteño and taking over the streets and that their ideology is to put in work on a Sureño to reclaim this territory, to fight for these streets? When these homies are getting buried underneath the earth, them streets are still going to be there. When Norteños and Sureños just accidentally just take one another out and it's happening in different cities, that city's still going to be there. Overran by politicians, overran by good mom and pop stores, successful businesses. We're not going to be thought about again. So you're okay with in situations like this happening when a mother lost a son, which was just making bad mistakes, which still had ample opportunity to really change his life. You know, 16 is not too young, and it's not too late to change the life. But this is what you want done to our youngsters. And that's why I changed my mentality from the beginning of this YouTube channel up until this point. Like, no, we've all been through it. Who are we to say the next generation needs to go through it? That's why I'm on here to making a change. Yeah, it might seem like I sound mad, but that just means you haven't watched a lot of my videos. There's aspects that I glorify, and there's aspects that I put down, but overall... My agenda has been simple. If I can stop a few kids from gangbanging and going to prison, then my channel has been successful. So I'm sorry you feel the way you feel. But rest in peace to Isaiah. I'm sorry that his mother has to read these uh, ridiculous comments in the comment section. But it's just another message to the youth, man. Be careful out there. You don't want to lose your life at the hands of anything in regards to gang antics and gang confrontations. It's just not worth it. So with that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. Peace.